Hi, I'm Kareem Monroe. I spent all summer studying for this math class and I feel very prepared for any problems or formulas that are given to us. I'm going to try my best to engage a lot and try and participate more in this class. I'm Zui Nguyen. I hate math classes. I'm no good at it and I can't pick it up easily. There's too many rules and formulas and tests are the worst. Oh. Maybe this won't be so bad since it's a first year math class. Let's hope. All right, class, are you ready for your first day? Today we're gonna to be working on the quadratic formula. But first, I will do roll call. Nina Taylor. All right, Kareem Monroe. Kareem Monroe. Sophie Checklin. Kareem Sophie Checklin. Calvin Grant. We have a Dewey Nguyen. It's Dewey Nguyen. Okay. Zoe. Not a traditional male name. May I ask where you're from? It's Zoe, and I'm from Los Angeles. Yeah? But where are you really from? Uh, excuse me? Where are your people from? Did he really ask that? Uh, well, my ancestors are from Vietnam. Vietnam? It's a beautiful country. I actually met my wife there. <sighs> Your people are so amiable. My what? All right. Yeah, so let's get started. Quadratic formula. Does anyone know what the quadratic formula is? Of course, he laid his hand. He won't participate, so the teacher will like him. I don't even know the answers. I mean, look around. No one else is raising their hand. Zoe, why don't you tell us what the quadratic formula is? Why would I know? I didn't even raise my hand. It's uh, a formula. Okay, a formula. But what is the formula? You should know this. I have no idea. Karim knows. Ask him. Karim. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2X. That's, that's correct. Well done, Karim. All right. Perfect. OK, so now we're going to work on the assignments. I know, uh, getting something on the first day, but it's going to get you warmed up for what is about to happen when things get more difficult. So just get ready. There are three questions on this one. When you're done, turn them into me, and I will correct them. I was so nervous. I barely listened. Oh, OK. Maybe I can just plug in the numbers, and everything will work. Hey, Zoe. Can you help me with this? Um, not really, honestly. Ugh, smart people are so stingy. Oh, okay. Let's see. Wow. You, you got all of them correct. And the third one is a particularly challenging one. Thank you. I did well in my AP statistics class in high school and hope to take some of the STEM courses this school has to offer. Students similar, similar to you don't usually do so well in uh, classes like this. Excuse me? What do you mean by students similar to me? Oh, I don't mean to offend you. I only mean that most black students don't uh, do as well in their courses, at least uh, the STEM ones. Just because I'm black doesn't mean I can't be serious about my education and my future. Oh, sorry, I really didn't mean to change, uh, turn the conversation into this direction. Let's see how you did, Zoe. I was expecting more from you, Zoe. Do they do math differently uh, from where you're from? I told you. I'm from Los Angeles. It's also a first year math class. I haven't studied this before. Maybe I can ask my wife then. 
You know what? Your English is actually better than hers. That's because English is my first language. All right, class. Some of you did great and did much better than I expected, and others of you didn't fulfill your full potential. But we're going to work on this uh, that this semester, and I believe that all of you are going to do amazing and fulfill so much potential by the end of the semester. Thanks so much. That's the first class. Many people experience racial microaggressions in their everyday lives. Due to how small they can be, a lot of them go unnoticed or are not seen as offensive by most. However, this is far from the case as many microaggressions together can affect one's perspective on others, as well as themselves, such as an expectation to be more intelligent or less well-mannered. The goal of this video was to show what it's like to experience these microaggressions in a place where students should feel comfortable to exist without judgments. Even when these people think they will not be judged with microaggressions, they can be, and it can alter their experiences with their peers, academia, and even themselves. It's important to be aware of these things to avoid causing them, or to be able to recognize them in case you or someone you know is going through this experience.